YouTube, Brindo Chef here, and finally, welcome back to the FIFA 18 AC Milan career mode on the channel. Today, we have Napoli, Torino, and Benevenuto. Benevenuto? Uh, yeah, Benevenuto today, and hopefully, we'll be able to get the three wins. Our team really needs it recently. If anyone's a bit confused on why it's been so long since the last FIFA upload, go and watch the What Next video on the channel. Uh, that'll inform everybody why, and it'll also inform everybody the plans for the next few months of releases of games and the next FIFA, what we're going to be doing there. Let's get straight into the game. Also, everybody, we have a transfer offer for Carlos Backer. We could definitely do with the money, but he's worth 30 million. So, we're going to negotiate and see if we can get 30 million for him. Uh, the short version of why it's been so long, everybody, is mainly because of the hospital. Uh, that's why I couldn't upload straight away all the time. But it's it's all sorting itself out now, hopefully. So we should be back to normal. But the What Next video is also really good for you guys to... Um, they accepted that. That's perfect. The What Next video is also really good to just inform everybody about what's going to happen on FIFA 19. Uh, we're expanding our horizons a little bit and we're bringing in some new stuff. So go and watch it. Since Backer is going to be leaving, we are going to play Backer. Uh, I think we're going to keep this team, to be honest. Actually, we're going to change around. Romagnole is going to be replaced by Benucci, and Cutrone will get swapped out for Silver there. And let's kick off with this team. Yeah, here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA. Hamashik there. A dangerous, dangerous man. Napoli will probably be the hardest team we're going to face in this uh, this episode. But we did overcome Juventus, the, you know, arguably the best, um, the best game, the best team, sorry, in the Calicio uh, app. Anyway, guys, let's kick off. Insigne. Insigne keeps running. Goes through! Oh, he hits the post, but a really good effort there by Insigne, a fantastic player. They've got such a good team today. Bonaventura pushing up nicely once again. Playing quite well. Passes it through to Backer. Backer's going to cut inside. Just about to be half time. With a throw in. And can we get anything before the whistle? I think that's offside as well. And not really much to show anybody today. Um, it's been a bit of a weird one. A, a good shot by Insigne for uh, Napoli. But we've mainly been pushing up really well, and then Backer just can't get onto the end of the ball. That's the half-time whistle. And what we're going to do is, I do feel this game would have been differently with a different striker. We have just sold him. He might not be feeling the best. Bonaventura is playing really well. Chiesa is not playing fantastically, so we're going to bring him on for Havertz. Two really early substitutes. Let's hope it pays off. Silva and Havertz are coming on for Backer and Chiesa. Let's kick off. Yeah. Finds it back to Piera. Piera could be through on goal. Piera gets another one for the club. Fantastically played there. A lovely little chip over. Piera takes it down on his right foot and just nails it nice and composed into the bottom right hand corner. Making it 1 0 Milan against Napoli. In probably our first chance that you guys have got to see this game. Fantastic. Let's kick back off and actually winning 1 0 now. After a really rocky last few games. And it's Milan trying to attack now. Trying to Milan find Niang again. Niang can't get onto it. Really oh! Another, another really, really nice effort there. Some brilliant passing off the rebound. And it leads to a fantastic shot. Anything in the middle? Unfortunately not. Playing good football, but they're not playing good enough. And Barini now with a bit of space and a bit of stamina. Does one. Finds Silva. Silva through on goal. That makes it 2-0. I had a look up at the score there to make sure it was an offside. And that makes it 2-0 after some really nice passing from Barini. And Silva does what he does and just tucks it away. What a young prodigy this lad is going to be for the club. Let's kick back off pretty much with a win now. Calabria here gives it off to Havertz. Havertz uses a bit of that lovely skill that we know and love. Passes it through. Bonaventura! What a finish there! Top left-hand corner. Bonaventura's had quite a good game pushing up attacking. Like, 
gets the ball, some lovely piece of skill from Havertz, and what a strike to make it 3-0 in the 93rd minute now, just before the whistle blows. Only a few minutes left, let's ride it off. We've come back to FIFA after quite a considerable break and we've done really, really well against Napoli to get a 3-0 victory. AC Milan are back on track. Let's not do any messing about, guys, and let's just get straight into that second game. Um, who are we playing? I forgot already. Oh, that's not very good. Torino, that's who we're playing, guys, and uh, I definitely knew that. I did not forget at all. Let's get into the squad. Only two changes from our original team sheet that you guys just saw, and that's silver for Baka, because Baka did not have a good game last game. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't even think you guys will get to see one chance, because he didn't really have any. Um, Donnarumma in there, as always, but Benucci for Kimbepe and Ramagnoli will be playing today. Let's kick off. It's always a delight to follow Italian football. Martin Tyler here with you again. Torino today, we're at the San Siro. <coughs> Let's kick off. Silver now, running through nicely. Finds Niang at the back. Niang wins the head, it just does go over though. And nothing comes from it. They're doing well to get out through on the break. Have a shot and it just goes wide or over. Really, really close. Havertz now on the ball. Pass it off to Piera. About to be half time, everybody. And a really uneventful first half once again. A bit like the Napoli game. Apart from this time, Torino have been all over us. And it's been really hard to break down their defence and their midfield. And they've really just... We've won the ball at the back. We've played really well defensively. And then we give it up front and we lose it pretty much straight away. Very little to show everybody that half. Once again, possession, we only have 47%, they have 53. Let's kick off in the second half and hopefully change the result. Silva, passes it through. We have a shot! Barventura with a shot. He could have done a lot better than that, in my opinion. Pierre and Alan got someone in the box. But nothing gets laid onto it apart from now. And it goes wide. Oh my god, I'm having heart attack after heart attack. Only a few minutes left now. And it's just been so difficult to break them down at all, to have a shot, to do anything. Their whole team gets back. The commentator even said the whole team's getting back to defend. And it's just so hard. Benucci now back to Silva. Silva with a shot. Silva with a header. A great save. And a clearance for the whistle. Oh my god. It is so difficult to play with such an inconsistent side. And I think for our next game, we're going to change up quite a few things. Because I'm really, really struggling to score and to actually win games with this team. It is very, very difficult. So that is the game, everybody. And let's get on to our last one, finally. Carl's back has actually been sold. And that's good because that 30 million will, um, will mean that we can actually get some decent strength. Uh, uh, a place where we've obviously not got strength, which is right now the majority of our team. We're in fifth fucking place. It's very, very difficult. We're nearly halfway through the season now as well. We need to start bringing up our game a lot. With 25 points. We want to be in the in top six, three, and, and we are four points behind that position at the moment. Seventh, so let's just win this game and focus on that. Okay, everybody, we're doing it. We're going back to anyone that's watched the Everton career. This was probably our most successful formation at Everton, and I'm sick and tired of playing with wingers and not having an impact on the game properly. Yes, they do score goals every now and again out wide. Niang can play striker. So, that's one thing. And is a good enough place to be able to play center attacking midfielder. So, we've got Niang and Silva all front playing a 4-2-2-2 formation. Bonaventura and Suso on the left and the right center attacking midfielders. Biglia and Pierre will be starting a really strong CDM position there to dominate midfield. I think it would be really, really nice. And everyone else that we've got is just inexperienced as fuck. Rodriguez, Benucci, Kimbepe in Calabria with Donnarumma in net. Now, the reason that Benucci is playing every single game is because he's the reason we've not conceded. He's keeping that back foot, he's keeping that line tight, and we want to keep it that way. 
not having a loss yet this um, this episode, everybody. But a draw last time was not good enough, especially a nil-nil draw. Let's kick off and get into the game. I'm sick and tired of losing with this team. Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Ricardo Rodriguez starts with Davide Calabri. Real opening now. I didn't say anything, I was really, really stressed out just watching that happen there. But a really fantastic save from Donnarumma. Leonardo Benucci. Sandro now. Mediocre so far, a clever ball. Diabita. Puts a good ball in! That's two, three opportunities and they fucking already scored against us. That is three opportunities they had, a hard pass along the bottom goes through all of our defence and they get a goal already. Again, we're back on the same sort of the same sort of mentality that we've always had so far with AC Milan and we're just losing against little clubs that aren't meant for much in this league and we are meant to be up there with the top dogs and we're already losing 1-0. Really making this career mode very, very difficult for me. They've worked this attack very well. Doing well again, pushing up past everybody, has a really, really good shot and right now they're actually deserving the victory because our full team is playing like a pile of dog shit. Through on goal, nothing to stop them and if they had a better team it would be about 3 or 4 nil already. The defence, as I just said about Benucci being really strong and holding that back four, today is not. That back four is doing what it's like and it's just doing really, really terribly. As you've just heard guys, two more minutes to be added on. And I'm really, really not happy with this team at all right now. So it's it's, it's difficult. It really is difficult. It seems like every people, every single team we play against get uh, the full midfield back to defend like that. And our team is just stuck with massive gaps and big openings. We've got a good defence as well. It is confusing me. It's Italian football. Everyone always makes a joke about Italian football. It's just all about defensive football. They pass it down the back for 20 minutes. And right now, with this career mode, they are right. Let's kick into the second half. Hopefully change the result. Silva back on the ball. Andre Silva has a shot and a fantastic save. Three yards out. Powerful top net. And it's just a save like it's nothing. Piera's head. Hopefully can get onto this. He's a bit far out. <coughs> An absolutely wonderful header, but a good catch. And well done to keep it off the off the line. Here we go. We threw on goal! Oh my god, a fantastic effort from Suso. Not Suso from Barini. And it just goes, hits the bar and goes over 100 miles an hour. Ridiculous that we haven't actually managed to get a goal or a break after everything we've done today. Once again, yes, finally getting a goal, making it an equal game. Five minutes to go. Who got the uh, who got the goal? Suso got the goal and. I'm not sure, but we're breaking through again, and that's what I'm happy about. Only a few minutes left on the clock. AC Milan! How do you miss that? The opportunity six yards out. Nobody should be missing that. Put it nice and close. Oh, front! Yes! Benucci with a header making it 2 1, five minutes in. And just to show you guys that there's no bullshit, we will go into the game settings. It's been a long time since I've done this, and I just don't want anyone to doubt me. I have been sick and tired all game of my team. Like, really, it's been upsetting to watch them play. And it's been really hard to not get really hot-blooded and stressed out watching these guys play at the moment. But we do break through straight away and get two goals in two minutes. Let's just get really defensively. Pierre as well. Breaking it through, Niang. Niang has got pace and skill. Could we actually get three here? We could if we pass it through to Silva. Silva does well to cut inside. As well here, Silva! Hits the bar after a really nice shot. We've had a couple of opportunities this game. 
And I honestly, I'm not too proud because I don't think we deserve to win that. There's something deeply wrong with this team. And um, they didn't play too amazing attackingly after their first goal. But <laughs> breaking that game down, we did nothing until the 85th minute. We did absolutely nothing. We didn't make an opportunity. We were selfish and greedy individually. And I'm really upset with the squad. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain everybody. But uh, Vitinho there leveling up to a 73 overall. I'm sure we'll do better at a later date and we're just getting back into FIFA now. All in all, this video has been really good. We've got two wins and, you know, one draw. And Benucci there, he's got a couple of goals this season. He's playing really well. Uh, but our back four and our midfield play there was not good enough whatsoever. Uh, and our attacking play as well. We got the ball, we did well. But their whole midfield pushed back instantaneously. And we didn't really get much. Anyway, everybody, we did win. We won two games and we drew one. We still actually not really made much progress. Um, everyone seemed to have won at the top, in the top five. But we are a bit closer now. Only two points behind getting into that top three position and that's where we want to be for the rest of the season we want to be one two or three first second or third place um fifth we don't want and fourth we don't want hopefully we're going to do a lot better from now on we've had a good episode here even though i've been stressed out to the max with that last game hit that thumbs up button that subscribe button down below i've actually really enjoyed this episode and it's just a challenge this whole career mode and i'm really enjoying it as much as it seems like i am just pissed off all the time i'm really enjoying it nearly january as well we're about to get a nice 20 a nice 30 million for backer and get some nice signings in as well because we definitely need it hit that thumbs up button subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon everybody have a great day